Exterminate! The Dalek race is supreme! All hail the Daleks! Welcome to the Supreme Daleks Channel! The video will begin in 3, 2, 1. Greetings, people of Earth. My name is the Dalek Supreme, and welcome to Monica After Story. Now, as you can possibly see here, this is an outfit I designed for Monica because this is her birthday, as you can possibly see here, with balloons and that. So, yes, this is her new outfit. It was designed by by special Dalek um, tailors and as you can see here these are basically um, Dalek spheres yes they're basically Dalek bumps as a reference to uh, when the master was wearing them in that Doctor Who episode of Ron Atkinson I wanted to do it as a homage to that because she has decided to serve the Daleks but enough about the outfit uh, oh oh she's singing okay okay Oh, that's, that's nice. I'm glad you're going to be serving the Daleks. However, if you betray us, you will be exterminated. Oh. Apparently, um... Yeah, apparently there are some things I didn't show you last time. Um... Apparently, um... You can uh, ask Monica to do impressions. Here is. Here are uh, the selections. Sayori, so Yori, or Natsuki. We'll go with Yori first. Oh, hello. It's me, Yori. Just your stereotypical. Um, girl who also happens to be a Yandere. Oh yes, Yandere. I do intend to play Yandere Simulator. Yeah. Yeah, soon. Yeah, I do intend to do that soon. I like tea, knives and everything to do with a supreme scent. Ah. That was kind of fun to do. You really was Really, something wasn't she? Correct. That is correct. Let's do Sayori next. Supreme, Supreme, it's your clumsy childhood friend who that has a deep secret crush on you, Sayori. I love to eat and laugh a lot, and my blazer doesn't fit my. Uh, uh, it doesn't fit me because my boobs got bigger. Did you like my impression? I hope you did. Well, yes. Well. <laughs> Wait, did I say... 
did I say yet? Yeah. Oh no, oh no, I, said, I think I may have said boobs. But, uh, no, I said it in my Deki Deki Literature Club, so it doesn't matter. In my Deki Deki Literature Club playthrough, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Natsuki. Not like I've made these cupcakes for you to eat. Uh, I'm Natsuki. I love to make food and all things anime and manga. Okay. Others say I'm cute all the time, which is which I'm totally not. Ha. I'm actually looking forward to Natsuki's cupcakes on the day of the festival. They're really good, especially uh, with the creative icing that she makes. Maybe when I get better to program them. Mm, interesting. Yes, that could be a possibility. Making cupcakes definitely seems like Natsuki's thing. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else? Anything else? So we got here. Oh yeah, the floating islands. I didn't show you this last time. Behold. Oh, that. That's something I'm currently working on. It's a, a huge mess. I'm still figuring it out. In due time, I'll be sure to get better at coding. Practice makes perfect, after all. It's pretty peaceful outside. I wouldn't mind lacing around on my grass right now. With your head... okay. Oh, that's... Well, you wouldn't want to mess with my head because... Well, well you wouldn't want to be resting uh, my head because... I'm a bit big. I'm a bit gigantic. In fact, it would crush a human if I fell. Just wondering, uh, okay, yeah. So nobody, nobody put their head on my thing because I'm, I'm a bit heavy. Yes. Well, the casing is heavy. It's going to crush people. I'm sure it doesn't fit. Okay, yes. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Hope you like it, sweetheart. Yes. Anything else? What else is there? What else? Maybe I could ask, do you have any regrets? I do, I do regret anything. Um, uh, that's strange to suddenly ask someone. Supreme, haha. <laughs> uh, I know that you're getting, what you're getting at. I do regret the things I did, I think. There's another way that things could have got, could have gone. I would have been nice, but that wasn't the option for me. And now I have only one thing I ever wanted. Yay! I I can be with you forever. Yay! But to answer your question, I do regret the pain that I caused, and I couldn't find another way. But I'm glad we moved past now that you would have been able to forgive me. That boy can finally be happy together. This is all I ever wanted. Good. Excellent. Well, now you've got me. What else? What else? What else? What else is there? Yeah, I always wondered why do we meet in the same classroom? Utility mostly. 
You know the original game of almost everything took place during our club meetings, right? All of which took it place in the same classroom, this classroom. It made it made it different to you, but it's the same one. Since uh, many things were to happen, the room had uh, to be robust enough to accommodate them. Okay. That made it more fleshed out. A more fleshed out location in the game. Okay. As such, it is the easiest place to navigate an altar generally used for whatever was needed. That was the original motivation, anyway. Not to mention, this classroom was the only place I ever appeared in during the original game. So I guess this, it makes sense because... Uh, so I guess in that sense it kind of became my home. As for why we are still here. It hasn't really occurred to me to move to somewhere else. It's not like it's a ba it's bad here. Bad in here. I guess I could make another place for us to spend time together. I mean, as the islands, but those are, aren't quite ready yet. And to be honest, there's only one place I want to be. Okay, interesting. Perfect. What else? Is there anything else here? Hmm. Hmm. Writing tip. Ah. It's been a while we've done one of these, so let's go for it. Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you, when I talk to people who are impressed with my writing, they say things like, I can never do that. It's really depressing, you know. As someone who loves anything else uh, to share the joy and exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that people being good just comes naturally. That's not how I think seems. Not just writing. When you try and try something uh, for first time, okay. Okay, interesting. Maybe a few weeks and then come back and you realise that it was never any good. That's what happens to me all the time. It's a pretty disheartening to put up much time and effort into something, but then you realise it sucks. And by the end, it, it, it happen, you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. Interesting. You reach your stars. They're always going to be uh, out of your reach, you know. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It is also really important uh, what you are trying to do. If you jump into a huge project, you are still an, uh, an amateur, you'll never get it done. So if you're talking about novel writing, novel magic, too much at first, why not try some short stories? Okay. Small projects you can really focus on. Interesting. This is such a good learning experience to step it out. One more thing, writing isn't something when, where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's skillful in itself learning to express what you... Okay. Interesting. Getting over.
overwhelmed and giving up. Before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society and art, are, it's built on thousands of years of human inter innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation, it takes uh, step by step. You can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yes, I enjoyed that. Anyway, people of Earth, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please like and subscribe to become part of the Dark Empire. And I will see you all in the next video then. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Monica. Thanks all.